What if I told you that the phone you're about to hear about isn't just any phone, that it's actually a quiet explosion in the tech world, something that's changing the game in ways most people don't even realize yet? Hey, I'm glad you're here. If you love tech or just want to know what's really happening behind those sleek glass screens we all carry, this video is for you. Trust me when I say you'll want to watch the whole thing to get the full picture. So here's the deal. On the surface, this phone looks like any other flagship device, a Huawei Mate 70 Pro. Beautiful design, top-notch camera, fast performance. But inside it, well, inside is where things get interesting. This phone is powered by a chip made in China. That might not sound shocking at first, but this isn't just any chip. It's a microprocessor built on 7 nanometer technology. For context, that's extremely advanced. Only a few companies in the world have been able to pull off making chips at that size. Now, here's why this is such a big deal. The United States government has spent years trying to prevent China from making these kinds of chips. They put strict rules on who can sell the equipment and technology needed to produce advanced semiconductors. The goal? To keep China's technology at least a decade behind. So, basically, the U.S. tried to lock the door on China's access to the most powerful chip-making tools. But here's the twist. China didn't just sit there. Instead of giving up, Chinese companies like Huawei and SMIC, their biggest chip manufacturer, found a way to work with what they had. They used slightly older chip-making machines called DUV lithography because the newest extreme ultraviolet lithography machines, EUV, are completely off-limits to them. Those EUV machines made by a Dutch company called ASML are the only tools that can create the tiniest, most powerful chips today. Experts thought that without EUV, China would never get past a certain level. But the chip inside this Huawei phone proves otherwise. SMIC managed to push those older machines far beyond expectations, producing a chip at 7 nanometers, much closer to the cutting edge than anyone predicted. This isn't just progress. It's a surprise, a challenge to what the West thought was impossible. You might be wondering why this all matters. After all, it's just a phone, right? Well, no. This chip powers so much more than just a phone's apps or games. Advanced semiconductors are the heart of nearly every modern technology, from AI and smartphones to military gear and satellites. Whoever leads in chip technology holds massive power in the global economy and security. When Huawei quietly released his phone online, without the usual fanfare or huge launch events, it sold out in hours. That wasn't just because of cool features or brand loyalty. It was a signal, a message sent loud and clear. You try to stop us. You built walls. But we're still here and we're moving forward. The U.S. government has been watching this closely, worried. Some politicians are pushing for even tighter restrictions to cut off Chinese companies like Huawei and SMIC completely from American technology. But here's the catch. If you push too hard, sometimes you force your competitor to innovate on their own. And China is ready to spend huge amounts, over $100 billion, to build their own semiconductor future. This is not just a tech story. It's a geopolitical one. It's about a race for control over the technology that will shape the next decade, maybe even a century. The phone in your hand, or the next one you buy, isn't just a gadget. It's part of this unfolding story, this silent battle where every chip counts. So what does this mean for us? For you? For me? For the future of technology? Well, it means we're in for some serious change. The gap between East and West in chip technology is closing faster than many expected. And with China pouring resources into their own semiconductor industry, the world is about to see a shift in who makes the rules. This Huawei phone is a glimpse of that shift, a proof point that China's tech ambitions aren't just talk. They're making real progress, breaking through barriers, and reshaping the game. I know this sounds like a lot, and maybe a bit overwhelming, but don't worry. I'll be breaking down everything in detail, so you understand what's really going on behind the headlines. So stick with me for the full video. You won't want to miss what comes next. Thanks for watching so far. If you're as fascinated as I am by these tech stories that shape our world, hit that like button and subscribe. There's plenty more coming that dives even deeper.